in the water for literally five minutes and Mr. Harnwell. All right. Woohoo! <laughs> well done. You can see we're using live slimies here and we're using a circle hook. It's really important that you fish with a really light drag and actually let these fish run with it in their mouth and swallow it down. Then you slowly apply the pressure and that circle hook will come out of its stomach so it doesn't actually do any damage to the fish and then generally hook very nicely in the corner of the mouth. So we're preserving these fish and it's normally a really good hookup. And uh, I think this will be Jim's first strike marlin, mate. Come on, pressure's on, mate. <laughs> he's pretty docile so far. I don't even think he realizes that he's hooked. We literally only just got the live bait. Scotty's put him on, fresh out of the water, put it back in again, eaten by a marlin, incredible. But the signs were always good today. There's birds everywhere, the wind's not too bad, swells just like the water colour is absolutely fantastic and we're pushing about 23 degrees which is absolutely ideal. Man he's coming up already. Right down below it. He will go crazy very very soon. <laughs> he's gonna go mental mate. <laughs> and we're gonna get it on camera for you folks. This is one of the most exciting forms of fishing. There's a lot of effort involved you've got to come all the way out here you've got to get all your gear organized I mean it's generally a day of prep um, you know, it's not often comfortable, it's a little bit rough, but I tell you what, when you hook that marlin, it's just all worthwhile. And while Jim's fighting this fish, it's uh, my absolute pleasure to introduce the new reel from Akuma, called the Makaira. It's an upgrade of the Titus Gold that's been around for a while, and these bad boys are awesome. Absolutely fantastic. How's the reel feel so far, mate? Good. Yeah, it feels alright? Yeah, yeah, the drag quite smooth. Oh, great. It's taking a bit of a run now. Sure it is. Down. Let's uh, listen to this. Get an idea. He's. Oh. <laughs> you gotta love that sound. Isn't that the best? A bit of weight to it, mate. Is it? Yeah, I definitely think it's bigger than what we first thought, mate. It's not real good to, to be in a stalemate with these fish, so what we're doing is just motoring away from him with plenty of drag pressure on, and uh, hopefully that'll sort of coax him up a little bit more. His angle will change and hopefully he'll come to the surface a little easier to fight. When they're down really, really deep and they're sounding, very, very hard to turn their heads. Mate, this is a, this is a big fish. That's why it's really important when you're on the boat too, that all the guys here, we all work as a team. Make sure that, um, Jim's comfortable, he's set up, the gimbal's in the right place. And this is the moment where you just hope and pray that the knots that you've tied and the crimps that you've crimped have been done correctly, because these fish will test it to the absolute max. We're coming up to about 55 minutes, I think. About that, nearly an hour on this fish. And, oh man, he is fighting down deep. The reason he's fighting so deep is he's using the current, just turns his body against the current. And uh, basically it's just like pulling a I don't know, a barnyard door through the water. They got a massive amount of resistance and he's just playing it down deep and Jim's just locked up. Not much we can do, but what they will do, because they face themselves into the current, turn themselves slightly side onto the current, if you actually use the boat and motor away, sometimes the way they're sitting with their little fins out to the side like that, they actually start planing upward. So you're actually getting closer to the surface, gives you a much better opportunity to land one of these amazing fish. Our first intention was we were going to kill a, a striped marlin today. We were going to take him on home for a feed. He's come up by the boat and we've all just looked at each other and said so we just can't do it. It's Jim's first striped marlin. Hats off to him, mate. He's going to cut him loose and let him go. Look at that fish. What a magic, magic animal. And the fight, unbelievable. Wow, that's bigger than we thought. That'd be 120 for sure. What a great fish. 
Here he comes. Oh, look at that. Well done, Jim. Woohoo! What a fight, mate. That was nearly two hours. Unbelievable. Let this poor thing go, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Well,